Hey guys, we're making one of my favorite dishes, which is carbonara. It is such a simple dish with only five ingredients. Uh, we start off with actually uh, searing this uh, pork belly. So unfortunately, I don't have the the original Italian ingredients. Uh, this recipe calls for pancetta or guanciale, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, it's a cured pork from Italy, their style. Uh, I really can't get my hands on it in the U.S., so I'm, I'm opted to use a pork belly. Uh, specifically, this is the kind that you would get most likely from a uh, Korean uh, supermarket. But uh, it's just thick cut bacon. You, you want to pick a, a pork that has a lot of fat in it. Because of the, the lard, the bacon fat that comes out of it, it's going to be used in the sauce. So you want to have this consistency. Uh, how you like it. I like it to have it like kind of crispy like you would in a Korean barbecue but you can have it a different way if you want. Uh, we are now dumping the pasta in in this cool uh, all clad uh, non-stick. I love it because it's so wide that you don't have to boil a ton of water. Uh, so of course we salt the water, it's good to go. And now we start on the sauce, super simple. Uh, you're gonna crack and I like mine with a lot of yolk. I love yolk and the yolk uh, If you separate the whites and the yolk, you're gonna get a, a much richer sauce um, And another ingredients is Parmesan cheese uh, You can you can add as much as you like uh, If you're a super cheese fan, of course, you can just continue like you're at Olive Garden and they just pour a ton of Parmesan cheese but that's gonna make a, the, the, the sauce nice and rich. And also, the last ingredient is nice big kernels of cracked, black cracked pepper, if I could say that correctly, is actually blacked, black pepper. Fresh, fresh cracked black pepper. And I can't speak today, but you get the picture. Uh, add as much as you like. I'm a fan of black pepper, so I like to spice things up. And this is an interesting technique that you're gonna do. Um, because of this, uh, this uh, pot is so wide, usually my pan, my, um, my mixing bowl would sit on top without actually having to uh, touch the water, but uh, I'd have to have, like levitate the, the pot above the steaming water and basically let the steam cook the uh, egg yolks. Another technique is also, you're gonna add the bacon fat or the black, the pork fat, and then you're going to whisk it. Now you're gonna dump in the noodles, mixing it in nice. I like a thick sauce. Some of you, if you want, you can add some of the pasta water to make it um, the consistency that you like. But I personally like it very rich uh, with a lot of the egg yolk. Um, you're going to add some of the uh, pork belly, uh, lardons, whatever you got, and you're going to go and mix away. And this is it. You have some of the salt from the uh, the bacon, the pork fat, and uh, with the egg yolk, and it makes such for such a rich and simple pasta dish that I love. Plate it, and then you're going to basically just top it off with some lovely Parmesan cheese and it is by far one of my, the simplest, um, most sad, like just hearty uh, pasta dishes. Uh, I love it so much. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, please like and please subscribe for future videos. Uh, me and my wife love to cook and we're gonna have more recipes for you guys. Until next time, take care, bye-bye.